everybody it is April here again with another tutorial this time it's going to be in silhouette studio it is again around the tracing function of silhouette studio sometimes I run into die cuts that I want to trace in my silhouette studio software that have lines that I'm tracing that are thick lines. So when I trace them, I get duplicate lines and I have to clean that up. So I wanted to show you how you go about doing that. I've tried multiple different combinations so that I would only get a single line instead of getting the, it's almost like an offset set of lines and I haven't found a combination yet that works. So if anybody out there has found a combination that gives you just the single line when you're tracing thicker lined objects, please share that information. So I brought in this image and I am going to make it larger so that I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to go to the, I used to call this peanut butter and jelly now I call it the butterfly because it looks like a butterfly to me. And it ends up that it's really the trace function menu. So I'm going to click select trace area and I'm going to select the area that I'm tracing. Now you can use the eyedropper because the lines on this image, the darker lines, can be disti distinguished from the gray background, but I'm just going to stick with the original trace functionality. Now, I've got yellow, but the yellow, if I zoom in, it's not a nice, neat line. It's kind of jagged. So I'm going to up my threshold which is going to smooth those lines out. And I want as smooth a line as possible. And so if you notice, the more I up the thres threshold percentage, the thicker these sets of lines get. And I lose a little bit of my definition. So I'm going to go back a little bit and get as smooth a line as I can get without losing too much definition. And I'm thinking I'm going to stick at about 56%. So now I want to trace inside and outside. If I just trace the outer edge, the only thing I'm going to get is the outer edge of this image and I want all these little bitty areas to be traced. So I'm going to click trace and I'm going to drag away the background and if you notice I have a double set of lines. So it is a bit tedious but I think the final product is worth all the trouble. So what I need to do in order to remove this double set of lines because the silhouette, as good as it is, would have a hard time cutting out something as thin as this. Unless of course it were in vinyl and I'm not wanting to use this for vinyl. I want to use this for paper. So I'm going to make a hand and I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit release compound path. So what that is going to do is it is going to make every piece of this image separate. So wherever lines connect and make a total square or rectangle or whatever shape, that is going to be its own separate shape. So the first thing I want to do, I've got a double line for the outside of this. I've got my 
line around the outside and then what looks to be an inward offset on the inside. So I'm going to drag him over and I'm going to click and select it and I'm going to delete it. And then, like I said, this gets to be a little tedious. I'm going to take the inside image of the whole die of every little nook and cranny and drag it off. And then once I am done, I will regroup that image. Now see there, I didn't make a hand, so I didn't get my image. So I just take the time to go to the inside of the image, make a hand, because if I just do this when I've got a, an arrow, it's, it's not going to do anything. I'm going to move it around until I get a hand, then I'm going to drag it off. And I stack them up over to the left, so then I can just choose all those images when I'm done and delete them. Him. So, again, and if you make a mistake, like if you accidentally drag the wrong, like if I accidentally dragged the outside image, then I just go up and I click undo, put it back, and then I get the right one. All right, so that is the trick that I'm aware of to get rid of the double lines when you have something that you want to trace and cut out that has thicker lines. Alrighty, um, that is all that I have for this tutorial. I don't want you to have to sit here and watch the whole time that I'm dragging the inside of the image out. I plan on cutting this out and making a card so when I publish this video once I get my blog post together I will publish or I'm sorry I will put a link in the description to my blog post and you can see how this turned out once I was done getting all the different pieces Ooh, that's a big piece out and regroup it together. If you like tutorials like this one, please click subscribe. If this tutorial was helpful for you, please click like. And I will be back with another tutorial in a little while. Thanks. Have a great day.